Hi, today we're gonna learn number 14 in the book on page six, rolling along. So the first thing I want you to do is take your pencil, just like we talked about in the first video, and I want you to write in your measure numbers, okay? Just like I have in this one. So the point is, is that way when I talk about the different measures, it'll be easier to understand what I'm talking about and less confusing. So see, a measure, remember, is the distance between two bar lines. So pause the video after I'm done talking and, um, and write these in. So one, and then the next bar line would be two, and then three, et cetera, all the way up to eight. Okay, remember there's two lines on this because there's not a double bar at the end of the line here, okay? So write in your measure numbers first. Got it? Okay, so next we're gonna talk about the notes that we're gonna use. So you only need to use four notes in this song um, of your first five. So the first one is gonna be your D, which again is fourth position. C, which is sixth position and then F, which is first, I mean, I'm sorry, B flat. I got confused. B flat, which is first position. And then you're also going to use your F, which again is that other note that's first position, but up higher. Um, so you'll use those first four notes. If you need to remember where they are, take a look at the top where it says notes in review, just like we talked about. Okay, when we're learning new music, one of the things that we can look for are patterns in the music. So look at measures one and two. Is there anywhere else in Rolling Along that has the same exact music as measures one and two? Measures five and six, right? They have the same notes and the same rhythm, so essentially they're exactly the same. So what we're gonna do, once you've learned, so what I mean is, if you've learned measures one and two, you've learned measures five and six, right? Now you know half the song, easy peasy. So what we're gonna do is break this into three different parts, and then we'll put it all back together, okay? So let's clap and count measures one and two. Let's clap and count just measures one and two, and technically also measures five and six, correct, of rolling along. Here we go. One, two, ready, go. One, two, ooh, three, e, four, or one, two, ooh, three, e, rest. Remember that while you're doing this, you can look at both measures one and two and five and six, and it has the same rhythm, so practicing it one time is gonna make you be able to play it for both the first two measures and the fifth and sixth measure. Let's say our note names for measures one and two and also five and six. One, two, ready, go. B, C, beef, C, D, 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 rest. Let's play the first two measures of number 14. One, two, ready. Let's clap and count measures three and four. One, two, ready, go. One, one two, ooh, three, e, rest. What on two, ooh, three, e, rest. Let's say our note names for measures three and four. One, two, ready, go. C, 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 rest. D, F, F, rest. Let's play measures three and four of number 14. One, two, ready. Let's clap and count measures seven and eight. Remember, you already learned measure five and six when we did measures one and two. Here we go. One, two, clap and count, and go. One, one, two, ooh, three, e, four, or one, one, rest, rest, rest.
Let's say our note names for measures seven and eight. One, two, ready, go. C, C, D, C, beef. Let's play measures seven and eight of number 14. One, two, ready. <laughs> Let's put it all together and play all of number 14. One, two, ready, 